Hi, I'm Rhonda. And I'm Kelly. And we are the Black, Black Crashers. Crashers! And we're going to go into Walgreens here at Military Highway and Indian River Road, and we're going to try to find somebody that needs help in their dental hygiene aids. So ready, <laughs> set, go! like you're completely lost in this whole array of dental hygiene aids. Look at all of this. It can be overwhelming and confusing, can't it? What can we help you with? I can't floss my teeth without any Because you have a toothbrush and you have to carry it around and you have to go in the bathroom? Well, I think what we can do for you is look at all this stuff, but I think what's going to work for you is going to be something like this, which is a interproximal brush. And this is good for all kinds of sorts of uses, including cleaning braces, braces and embrasures, implants, bridges, and just interproximal spaces of your teeth. That are so hard to reach. We're going to take her home with us. Would you like to go home with us? Sure. And we're going to teach her how to use an interproximal brush. Okay, so now the Plot Crashers are back at our house and we are going to go and we're going to demonstrate on this beautiful little girl, Maddie, how to use her interproximal brush on her orthodontic appliance. Maddie, take out your appliance, and what you're going to do is you're going to want to hold it, and you're going to put it next to the brackets, underneath the wire, and you're just going to use it like kind of like a pipe cleaner and just cleaning around the brackets. Very good. Wow. Can you tell a difference mm -hmm. as to regular brushing? And it's something you can put in your pocket, and you don't have to carry around a toothbrush all day long. Mm -hmm. And when you're finished, you just want to make sure you rinse your interproximal brush and then we put the lid back on. And this brush is actually reusable, but if you notice that it gets any bends or the bristles get um, out of alignment, it's time to replace it. Okay? Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wait, why is it though? In motivated patients who have normal probe readings, good dexterity, and embrasures, where the papilla fills the interproximal space and the teeth are in contact, dental floss is the most effective tool for removing biofilm from the proximal surfaces. Patients with moderate to severe periodontal diseases often have recession that results in larger embrasures, areas with little or no interproximal papilla and exposed concave root surfaces. These areas often cannot be thoroughly cleaned with dental floss. Patients with restorations may also require alternatives to floss due to their inability to properly maneuver the floss and or lack of patience. Because of the benefit of interdental biofilm removal and the lack of patient compliance with daily flossing, alternative methods to flossing are important. In order to use the interproximal brush correctly, when you're using it for anterior surfaces of the teeth in the embrasure areas, you would want to bring the, the brush straight on at a, and go in nice and gently. You never want to force the brush into the spaces because it can cause damage to the papilla. If you're using it for a posterior region of the mouth, you want to bend the brush at a 90 degree angle, angle it into the mouth, and then you would just see how I can't go in? That's not a good spot for this. You would gently use it where it goes in nice and easy without any kind of pressure. When you want to do it nice and easily. It comes in different sizes. This brush here in particular is used for very tight spaces. As you can see here, this is for very wide spaces. This brush would be used for large frication areas, possibly. Then we also have an even smaller type of brush. They also come with a little bit larger handle, so you can use it for a different, um, if you have uh, dexterity that doesn't allow you to hold a smaller brush, and they actually even come with larger handles. So clearly, an inner dental brush is a great alternative to dental floss. And you can use this anywhere, whenever, however, keep it in your pocket, store it wherever you need. And it's a great alternative, but always, always, always check with your dental professional first. And this is what we have to say, Rhonda and Kelly from the, the Plaque Crashers. Crashers.